Hey guys, so today is October the 4th. I typically get my Palafel Packs box around the 5th. So I'm excited that this one came a little early. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I went ahead and broke off the tape seal. I'm hoping there's stuff here. Yes, for October. Yes. Um, How do I want to do this? I just want to take out one thing at a time. Let's just look at one thing at a time. So first, we have this Amsterdam ink. It's acrylic ink. And this beautiful color, yellowish green. It's a pretty big bottle. It's one full ounce. So we have that. Let me just set this to the side and just pick things one by one so you guys can't see what's in the box. Excuse me, my mat is a mess. It's full of paint and stuff. Alright, so we got that. Here's another color. I don't know what's spilling on my box, but I got all this purple stuff. Um, here is a turquoise blue color by the same brand, Amsterdam, same size. There is a nice, this is from B Paper Company, and it's a super deluxe mixed media. I was waiting for this box, um, as I stated in my video before Inktober, because I did not want to buy another sketchbook for Inktober, so I'm so happy that I got this. The cover on this is really thick. Paper is really thin, not very textured, but yeah. Let's see. There's 60 sheets here. It says acid free mixed media paper, natural white sheet, medium rough surface, two distinct surfaces. Excellent for wet and dry media. All right, let's set that to the side. There's a, we'll get to that in a minute. There's some nibs. A pack of Tombow calligraphy pens. Calligraphy brush pens, ooh. I'm excited that it's some brush pens. A paintbrush from Princeton. And it's a three round. A white jelly roll pen, which they sent one in a previous box. A, I forget what you call these, but it's a nib holder, I guess you would say. For these speedball things. Excuse me, guys. I had to sneeze. I had to get that out. And last but not least, a touch twin marker from Shinhan Art. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, guys. Um, I don't know. It's a black color. So there's the bullet nib and a chisel tip. Excuse me, guys. My allergies are acting up. The weather is crazy in Chicago. One day, it was like almost 90, and now it dropped down to like really low 70, so. Excuse the sniffles and all that. Just closing this box up. And let's read this. So, let me read the back first. So, it has the Inktober 2017 prompts. It says, Inktober was started by Jake Parker, and then it has his website, in 2009 as a challenge to improve his inking skills and develop positive drawing habits. It has since grown into a worldwide endeavor, with thousands of artists taking on the challenge each every year. 
Um, so the official rules are one, make a drawing in ink, two, post it online, three, hashtag it with pound inktober and pound inktober 2017. I should probably say hashtag, huh? Tell you guys could tell I'm old school. And four, repeat every day of October. So today is the fourth, so the prompt will be underwater. I'm not following these prompts though. I saw these and I don't know, they just really don't they don't really stick out to me like. So for October box, Inktober, share your work on social media. Make sure you use hashtag palette full packs. So the Amsterdam acrylic ink, all colors are highly pigmented ink and are extremely light fast. The ink is based on an acrylic resin and is waterproof when dry. Ideal for a wide range of techniques like calligraphy, watercolor, airbrush, and can be used with technical pens. So the retail value for these inks are $7.95 each. All right. So they give you two of those. Alexis. Sorry, guys. The white jelly bowl, jelly bowl, jelly roll pen. It's a hybrid of the best features of a ballpoint pen's grease and a rollerball's liquid ink. These pens glide smoothly, won't bleed or blot, and dry to be waterproof and fade resistant. The retail price for this is $1.49. You know what? As I'm reading it, let's just go ahead and swatch them on here. And I'll actually test that Charlie Roll pen on this ink swatch once it's dry. Let's use the brush that they gave us. So it's got that sizing on there. Let me just wet it and kind of make it soft. Let's water it down so we can get a feel for the paper also. My water is like dirty right now, so excuse that. All right, that's a really pretty color. Let's try this blue, it's green color. What is it called again, yellowish green? really like this I forgot what you call these the squeezy thing I really like that all right so a really bright nice color it's like very neon my water is really dirty right now from yesterday's Inktober drawing. All right, so we'll let those dry and we'll we'll um go over the the, the go over it with the Jelly Roll white pen to see how it shows up on there. So next we have the Speedball Artist Twin Pack and Pen Holder, Two Pack and Pen Holder. I'm just making up my own words. So it says handcrafter stainless steel nibs can be inserted into the speedball pen holders, flexible flexible pen points that are good for lettering and drawing. The retail price for this is five bucks. Four twenty one, I'm sorry to be exact. I don't know what's going on with me today, guys. Sorry. 
I'm just like making up words, making up my own, reading my own words. So let's go ahead and put this together. So on both of these, there's a pointed tip and a rounded tip. So to put this together, you have a fat end and a skinny end, obviously. We're going to go ahead and put this curved bottom round part into here. Like so. Now, I am not the best with these, what are they called again, fountain pens? I'm not the best with these, but calligraphy pens, I guess you would call them. So, you can get a lot of different white, ugh, line widths. What is going on with me today? By applying different pressure. I really like this one. The one that I have, it makes such scratching noises. It drives me nuts. This one doesn't seem to do that. But we'll see as I use it. I'm just trying to find my rag, guys, so I can clean this off and we can test the other one. Of course I can't find my rag. I'm going to use one of these cotton swabs that I have right by me so I'm just gonna wipe that off and let's try the other size so I'll put it in the same way this one is a much smaller size let's try it in the green I'm so geek to try those calligraphy brush pens So I'm just dipping that in there. So this one gives you a much finer line. Nice. These ink colors are beautiful. I love this green. Just trying to wipe this ink off of here. Alright. Let's move that to the side. Alright. The next item is. The Touch Black 120 Twin Marker. A unique fine point nib on one side. And a broad chisel nib on the other. The Touch Twin Marker offers artists and designers great range of line thickness. The delivery of ink flow can be perfectly controlled to allow precision drawing. It says they're ergonomically, I think they mean ergonomically designed. Rectangular body resists rolling on work surfaces and provides a perfect grip that avoids smudges and smears. The new Touch Twin Marker contains an alcohol-based ink that doesn't dissolve printed ink toner, allowing for odorless, vividly colored artwork on printed materials. The retail value for that is seven bucks. These cards, they always have some kind of grammar, like misspelling or something. So I'm just kind of trying to show you guys a different line widths you can get that's with the chisel i mean the bullet nib i'm 
You can get a lot of different line widths with the chisel. Let's see if it bleeds through the other side. Yep. So guys, keep that in mind when you're creating. I will probably put another paper under here to protect the opposite sides. Okay, next is the, I don't know how to pronounce this, but Furinosuke Brush Pen Set. This set contains one soft and one hard tip. Nice, my battery's getting low. Um, so got one hard and one soft brush pen. Features a flexible brush tip for different lettering and drawing techniques. Create extra fine, fine, or medium strokes by a change in brush pressure. Great for calligraphy and art drawings. The retail price for this is $6.98. Let's try these. I love brush pens. I hope these are really nice. Alright, so there's... Are they two different colors? I don't know, but the outside of one is blue and the other one is black. Let's see. This blue barrel one. They're both black ink, I think. Okay, so this is the hard tip one. I'll show you guys the nib. Let's try to write something in it. Um, how about love? All right. And let's try this black barreled one. Well, it's got the same tip, seems like. This one is a lot softer. When you um, draw with it, it kind of bends. So I don't know if that's a good thing. So let's write me. You definitely get thicker line with this one. These look cool. Are they water soluble? Let's see. That's a bad um, test because my water is dirty. Where's my brush pen? My water brush pen. Let's try that. I don't think it's water soluble. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, it kind of lifts up. So, yeah, it is. Keep that in mind, guys, when you're creating. All right, so they have the Princeton Elite Synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush Number 3 Round. Um, Elite is the next generation of synthetic watercolor brushes. They perform like genuine Kalinsky. The round shape has a belly for maximum color holding capacity and an amazing point for fine detail work they also feature a velvet touch finish handle for maximum comfort the retail price for this is 975 and then last but not least we have the b paper that we're drawing on it's six by nine super deluxe mixed media wire brown bounds pad i really like that it's wire bounds um heavyweight 93 pound 150 GSM NPH archival quality drawing paper is well rounded for mixed media. This natural white sheet has two distinct surfaces as we read earlier. The top side of the sheets has a tooth for dry media and works well as the cold press watercolor sheet. The bottom sheet is fabulous with pen and ink and works well as a hot press sheet for watercolor and other mixed media. 
The double ring binding creates a flat surface, allowing the artist to draw across the page. The retail value for this is $15.50. Okay, so on this one, they did not give us a total. But let's just go ahead and round it. So, eight bucks, two dollars, wait, eight, nine fifty. Thirty seven, thirty seven and fifteen. Guys, don't judge me. Thirty seven and fifteen. So it says that a retail value for this box is 52 bucks. So that's nice. Sounds nice. Actually, it'll be more than that because it says that these inks are seven um eight dollars each. So for these I would add another eight dollars to that. So about 60 bucks they're saying the retail value for this box is. I don't know, I guess. Um, this is still a little bit wet. But this part right here is dry, so let's go over it with our gel pen. Can you guys see that? I can see that. Not too much on the green because it's so light. But on the darker parts, you can see a little more. Can you guys see that? Goes over the black. Yep. All right, guys. So that's everything that was in this box. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. I'm going to charge up my phone and then we'll create something today. Um, and this will count as my day four for Inktober. All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so this is the finished piece. Um, I used everything except for, God, what are these called? The dip pen, I think they're called. But I used everything except for this. Um, the colors are really bright. I used a lot of washes. I did some splatters in the background. Um, I used the chisel tip and it kind of looked jacked. So I had to kind of like play with the line weight and value and whatnot but yeah i think this is a really cool box for inktober this is a nice little the inks especially i'm happy with um these brush pens they're really nice but i wouldn't really call them a brush pen like when i think of a brush pen i think of actual like bristles or something more i don't know i feel like these they're more like felt tip markers, but they're really nice. Like I will, I'm definitely going to be using these like for line work and stuff like that. And yeah, this brush is awesome. And that's about it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, hit the thumbs up button for me and like this video. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so you guys can get notifications each time that I post. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.